us, enlarge, stretch, lengthen, and strengthen. What do they have in common? They require commitment and persistence. And that's the message for somebody today. Are you committed to the Lord Jesus Christ? Paul was committed. And that is the thing with God. When we are committed to him, he will take care of your business as you take care of his business. Mm -hmm. When we are committed to him, even when everything is failing, nothing will happen to you. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. Mm -hmm. God is a faithful God. We are not just going to be talking about uh, the faithfulness of God. We are going to experience it. I have experienced it. I am experiencing it. And I will continue to experience it. You have experienced it. You are experiencing it. And you will continue to experience it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't be afraid of change. It will come. It doesn't matter even if the force is on you. It's a matter of time. God is your comforter. Amen. God will rescue you. Amen. God will support you. Amen. And you will come out victorious in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you want to change, you must ask yourself this question. Am I going to keep working and trying to get better? Or this is as good as it gets. That is giving up. You don't give up. Remember persistence. Remember commitment. Commit yourself to the things of God. Be there for Him. He will be there for you. He's a faithful God. But what does He require of us? A step of faith. And I remember that situations in my life, and God would ask me, Boy, can you trust me? Boy, can you trust me? And I would cry and say, God, help me. Help me. As a human being, I, mean, I, I, I want to break down. I want to give it up. But I said, God, help me. And like he showed, he did miracle for Paul. He showed Paul some signs. I saw so many times. And I'm not afraid to, sh to share this with you. This week, in a quiet time, you've done everything and you're, you're, you're broke. And this is not the first time. And we're having a quiet time. We're praying. And I said, God, I don't know. I can't remember the prayer. But I prayed the prayer and I said, God, just meet us, you know, financially. Psychologically, spiritually, you know, in every area of our life. And I left. One day passed. The second day came. The second comment, oh, Mr. Lenka, you have a check in the office. Gene, uh, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be right there. God is faithful. It's not full time. It's not, it's not the first time he's done that for me. That was not the first time. But how does he do it? I don't know. This is not December, but they gave me and maybe the rest of my colleagues a bonus check. Bonus. This is not December. People get December, the bonus in December. Am I right? Mm -hmm. this, is, this is May. <laughs> but how God does it, I don't know. But he will make a way for you. Amen. Where he seems there will be no way, he will do it for you. Amen. I just challenge you, like I challenge myself. Let's use it to the glory of his name. Amen. But whatever God gives to me, is not for me. Amen. I have come to learn that. Amen. It's for his kingdom. Amen. It doesn't mean that you should go hungry or don't tell me. We bought food. <laughs> <laughs> but God is good. God is good. It requires commitment and persistence. That's what it takes to change one's life. The good news is that God will help you and he can do it. 
Start today, not tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Start today. Take the step of faith and see what God will do for you. You must step up. You must take that faith. Sometimes the faith will require you to just remain in that situation. He knows your desire. He's the one that brought the desire of your heart and will give to you. Walk with me. No, I walk with God. And not walk with God. What are you going to do? For me, I have no choice anymore. And I don't think you do either. It's a choice that we have to make. Say, so God help me to walk with you. And when you do, I guarantee you, by the authority of the scripture, God will not disappoint you. For all those who have gone before us, who walk with him, he never disappoint them. Hebrews chapter 11. And when you look at it closely, when you study those characters of the Bible, they only took a step of faith. They didn't even have enough testimony that we have today. They did not see as many things that we saw God do, even in their days. And I studied the scripture, in that lesson, how uh, Paul, you know, preached in, in Cyprus and in Greece, and he just obeyed God, and things, they were opposing him left, right, and center. You know, and I said, oh God, if it was me, I'm going to run. Because, and I'm going to have the kid to ask, oh God, you really sent me to this place? And when my brother was praying, God will forgive me, okay? <laughs> but when you were praying that God would take trouble away, I laughed. I don't pray that prayer anymore. Trouble is when God is glorified. They will come your way. We can't avoid, we live in a sinful world. It is the way it happens, you see the goodness of the Lord. Yeah. And you can stand and testify. Your God is faithful. Our world is full of trouble. We went in a prayer, come, in a prayer meeting this weekend, and they were giving records of what was happening in our country, where young people were dying. 21, 14. Some of them have just graduated. They were coming from graduation uh, party and they never got home. That's trouble for a family. And one family lost two of them at the same time. Let me tell you, people of God, there are no guarantees anymore. Maybe you have not learned that. There are no guarantees anymore. That's why we must live our life daily for Jesus Christ. And whatever comes our way, he will sustain us. He will help us. And now you've got an experience. You've lost one of your daughters, but God is comforting you. Amen. And you are still here. He's taking you somewhere. Amen. Just follow him. Amen. Whatever it takes, whatever it costs, Amen. he will take you there. Amen. That you'll be able to stand and say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters in life. Amen. When we take the last breath like that, song, when we see him face to face, Wow! When you, you open the curtain and show us some of the things that we don't even see. And I will never, I will never forget my story as a young believer in a camp meeting. We sat down on the grass for a while. And all of a sudden, I sat on a snake and I see that I jumped up. I screamed. God said, shut up. That's what you see. What about the one you don't see? As a young Christian, God told me that. Hey, that's true. Wow. It didn't hurt me. It did nothing to me. And God just made my to see that. I started screaming. <laughs> May God help us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Will you take a step of faith this morning? What is the change that is looming in your corner this morning? What is the change that you desire badly to come? And God is saying, trust me. Even where you make mistake, I have prayed a prayer. People say, how do you know the will of God? I say, where to know the will of God? And yet, when you are in the will of God, it's not always going to be easy. I can 
tell these stories about a woman of God, which I respected, saw me one day, heard my story. You know what she told me? She said, you did not pray enough. Are you saying that? And I said, Christian woman, I shook my head. I only know that she has no land, that even in the will of God, there are things that you have to face to keep trusting God. Because if everything was hunky-dory, the being human being we tend to forget God so quickly. That's why the Bible, our dependence is upon him, not on ourselves. That's why we go through things. And he uses them to, the, to his own glory. Amen. Amen. That's why he's a sovereign God. He does what he likes. He does it when he wants. He does it the way he wants it. And we can't question him. Praise the Lord. Let's bow our heads this morning. What is the challenge of change that you face? What is it that God is asking of you? So that you can make this thing. Even it doesn't have to look bright right now. But as you take the step of faith to make these changes in your own life, or some that are forced on you, the Lord is asking, Can you trust me? Will you trust me? Will you trust me? He has brought you from a very, very far place. Just as he has brought me from a very, very far place. But he has promised never to leave you, nor to forsake you. Speak to him this morning. It's waiting. I know we can sing that song, change my heart, oh God. Let God change our heart.